What's up guys and girls, my name is Kaboom, and if you're watching this, then my video was uploaded to the Snipes RS channel, in which case, I want to start off by thanking Snipinator and everybody else affiliated with running it. It's a pretty long commentary, so brace yourselves, that's what she said, um, but I do put up a pretty good score, so hopefully my deep, very white voice doesn't put you to sleep in the time that it takes to get through this video. It's a bare bones free for all on PC, which means that there's no perks, there's no kill streaks, and there's no attachments, so I'm just using the L96 with the reg scope. For those of you who don't know, PC has dedicated servers, but for free-for-all you only have the option of 12 or 18 man servers. So a lot of the times it can get really chaotic, but I got lucky that this lobby wasn't completely full. But unfortunately the people in here either camp a lot or they were really, really constipated and they spend most of the rounds sitting on their invisible toilets. Because it takes me a long time to actually get the full 30 kills. I guess it would kind of be appropriate to maybe introduce myself, since you probably don't know who I am unless you're lurking out in the bushes outside my window with binoculars and lube right now. Um, so I'm 21 years old, I'm a full-time college student, I'm majoring in psychology, I enjoy long walks on the beach, romantic candlelit dinners, cuddling by an open fire while giving foot massages. Just kidding. Kind of. Um, I'm not an exclusive sniper, so hopefully that won't count against me, but lately that's kind of been almost all I've done. Um, I'm going to kind of make the assumption that the majority of gameplay submitted here probably won't be PC gameplay because sniping is really, really difficult on PC. I'm not saying PC better players are better than console players or anything like that, but people who play on PC have gaming computers, so it's difficult to find like really good lobbies like this one where the rest of the players kind of suck. Um, and the hitboxes for sniping on PC are like tighter than Jessica Alba's ass, so you have to be really accurate, especially without any aim assist or anything. I just bought an Xbox a couple of weeks ago, and I have to say that without aim assist, I'd probably only have like half the kills on it that I have now. I'm like that guy that if you watch the kill cam, you'll see like they're holding down the trigger and swinging the gun back and forth like they're trying to save you from like a swarm of wasps all around your head. I tried sniping on like the easiest difficulty on combat training for Xbox, and some random bot literally beat me to the 30 kills in a free for all. Like it was it was embarrassing, but um. But yeah, um, if Snipinator and whoever else does this channel decided to put up the video, um, it would be really awesome because I only have 155 subscribers, so it would probably get more views in the first like half an hour than my videos typically get in total. Uh, I typically don't like to talk about the gameplay when I do commentaries because it, I doubt that's really interesting to watch. I usually give adv advice on ways to kind of improve your own personal life, like your, your real life life in various ways. Um, I've done everything from like how to be successful with women to how to get into a good college. I'm not trying to like be Dr. Phil or your dad or anything like that, but I think that it's kind of more of a useful thing than maybe like Call of Duty related tips. Um, if there's a bunch of like aspiring PC snipers out there, then I guess I could give like specific tips for that. But otherwise, I'll kind of leave that to people that are really good at doing that kind of thing. But the last two uploads on my channel are sniping games. One's a 30 and 7 free for all using the SVD with um, UAVs, my only kill streak. And the other one's the game I had right before this one where I was sniping. Um, I kind of missed some shots because I was kind of warming up. At least that's my excuse. But um, if I haven't bored all you off by now, feel free to check that out. But since this is kind of a long game and I have a lot of time to fill, I kind of want to give like a little taste or a little preview or whatever of the kind of commentary that I generally provide. So I'm going to kind of like put on my grandma jeans, get in my comfy rocking chair here, and maybe share a little bit of advice on how to kind of improve your own life in general. Um, so let me start off by saying that this channel is a really great idea, especially because one of the more well-known snipers on YouTube is putting so much time and effort into actually running it and promoting it. And one thing to kind of keep in mind is that he, uh, meaning Snipinator, and everybody else who's putting time into this channel don't have to do it. They were all well-established channels of their own, and for them to actually want to get other people noticed and to kind of help them get noticed is really kind of a gift from them, not a responsibility that they have to do. Uh, nowadays, as far as commentary is concerned, it's very difficult to get noticed because there's so many people doing it. Um, I can speak from experience on that one. And having this kind of help or promotion would get, do so much for whoever's fortunate enough to have games put on here that um, it's really a nice thing for them to do because you're not going to get famous randomly. No, not, you know, A million people aren't going to randomly click on your very first video. You're not going to get famous by going to the comment section of like Grizz's videos and saying, hey guys, I have a great new YouTube channel with epic scores. Check it out. You're not going to get famous that way. 
so you know the people that all do this channel could easily just focus on their own channels and not give a damn about helping anyone else get big so for them to do this is is really really a privilege for us to have videos put up on it um, and obviously this channel still in its infancy but one thing that you guys should all keep in mind is that everybody has their own style of gameplay not everyone can be Grizz or Snipinator and have the highest quality stuff but I can guarantee that everybody who is lucky enough to get a video on this channel will have put a lot of time and effort into making whatever it is that they did whether it's a montage or a commentary or whatever else so if you see that somebody doesn't have an HD PVR with like flawless color correction and render settings or if they come off as really nervous in the commentary or if they have like a high pitched voice so their microphone isn't the best try to cut them a little slack everybody has to start somewhere and that somewhere might not necessarily be like a 30 and 0 quick scoping game with 10 360 no scopes in the game um, I've personally been fortunate enough not to come across any negative comments on my own videos but before you tell somebody that they suck in the comments section kind of try to think about how much time and effort they actually put into making the video like imagine if you had to give a book report in front of your class and when you got done every c person in the room raised their hands and said things like that book was for noobs or epic voice crack at two minutes and fifty seconds and now like multiply that by thirty like or so kids in your class and try to imagine that you're like giving a book report in front of you know a thousand people or whatever um, you know, so before you tell someone that, like, they missed 16 shots in the video that they should have hit, kind of imagine that it was your own video. It's easier said than done, I know, to, to not harass people sometimes. But if there is somebody out there who has 100% accuracy with the L96 and they've actually taken more than, like, 10 shots with it, please let me know because everybody misses shots. It's not, not everyone has, like, the Steve Schwint quality render settings or Mr. Phantasmo quality commentary styles. So kind of go, go easy on them. Um, if this video does get uploaded, then how about this? You can post every negative comment you want to post on somebody else's video on this video. So if you want to tell someone else that their shots are set up or that it's fake and gay, just come here, tell me I'm fake and gay, tell me I set up this free-for-all lobby, and, you know, be done with it that way. So, um, obviously if you're watching this, it actually means that the video was uploaded and, um, it's not just like me listening to this over and over again as the only person that'll ever see it. So once again, I'd want to thank um, Snipenator and everyone else involved for for uploading this video. And one kind of last thing to keep in mind: everyone that you watch now, like Grizz or Snipenator, you know, or C Nanners, they all there. There's a reason that they're all where they're at, and they put a lot of time and effort into it, and they had to start somewhere too. And if you watch some of their first videos, I doubt that they're going to tell you that it was the best video they've ever put out so when you see kinda new channels or you see people that don't have many videos on this particular channel don't rush to judgment because they're only going to improve with time especially if they buy like an HD PVR over whatever capture card they have or you know if they get more comfortable with commentating it becomes easier over time so that would be my advice to all you guys is cut them some slack um, and yeah that, that's, that's really it Hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay. I know it was a little bit long, but I do end it with a nice little... I guess you could cut... It's not really a three-piece because this guy's on the bridge really late. But, um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you again for watching, and I will catch you all maybe in the future.